Hi, it's Monique. So today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop CS4. I really love using Photoshop. I think it's just this really great resource for taking pictures and editing them and things like that. We're going to use some of the tools. Oops, sorry. We're going to use some of the tools here in the toolbar. We're going to use like the crop tool, direct selection tool, magic eraser thingy, clone stamp maybe. Um, and then dodge and burn. There we go. Dodge. And we're going to also go through some of the adjustments because I use those. And we're going to go through some of the filters. Okay, so now we're just going to go open a picture. And this is just a picture that I took this spring of a model. It was like a couple's photo shoot. Okay, there you go. Open. Ta da! Okay, so let's just make this a little bit smaller so that we can actually work with it. There we go. And let's cover up my background, which is really cute. Okay, I just love this girl's hair. I just love the color of it. Okay, so I don't know if we really need to crop it. It looks like it's pretty well composed right now, the way it is. But that's the crop tool right there. Okay, so direct selection tool again. Now you're just going to go to adjustments, and then we're going to go to levels. So you can see it. Uh, oops, no, we're going to go to curves, <laughs> so you can see a uh, histogram, and you can also see the effect of moving the curve up or down. It brightens the picture, or it darkens the picture, like that. I'm just going to put it back where we had it, close to there, and say, okay. Okay. Now, I want you to see that if you go to brightness and contrast, you can do the same thing as levels and curves and all that. Same thing. It's just a little bit different way of doing it, which also makes Photoshop awesome. So, now just let me go through some of the filters. I want to make her skin a little bit softer, so I want to go into here. Where are you? Diffuse Glow. Now, as you see, the preset for it is just really harsh. Let's make it smaller here. There, it's really harsh, so it makes her hair look kind of radioactive. So we're just going to, like, dial it down a little bit, the glow amount down. There. It's a little bit better. But it does give her hair and her face the appearance of being a little bit softer. Now we're going to just zoom into her face, and we're going to use... This tool, like I said, the magic eraser kind of band-aid thing, I can't tell what it is. <laughs> but I'm just going to come in and I'm going to get rid of a couple little blemishes on her face, like pimples and things like that. Or freckles. She doesn't really have pimples on her face. She's just a really, really neat model. Just a couple little freckles there. I normally wouldn't have gotten rid of these. Okay, now let's just zoom out. There we go, that's better. Okay, now I just want to burn down the edges of the picture because, you know, we just want her to be what the eye focuses it on. So the edges of the pictures, I want to make them a little bit darker. That's just what I do. I find that people like to zoom in on the hair and the eyes in the picture that are focused and they're kind of like the center of the picture. So you just want to kind of fade everything in the background out. So I'm just burning it with a burn tool. Okay. And I'm just going to bump up the saturation because I love the color of her hair, which is just really awesome too. There we go. Yay. And now I'm just going to go to um, the photo filter. And as you can see, it just warms up the picture. We don't need it to be that warm. Dial it down a little bit. Yay! So we're just going to go File. Let me get off of that. I'm going to go to File and Save It. And we're done. Let's just change the name from the camera name. Edit it Photo. I'm going to Save and I'm going to put it on my desktop. Okay. Just a little bit higher here. There we go. We're all done. Bye!